After you've signed an assessment to your students and you want to see the running record and the completed assessment, you will see in your, go to your in-basket and you will see when, how many students have completed their assessments. So here I have one student that's completed their assessment. I'm gonna click on in-basket. And here you'll see under awaiting to review, it'll tell me which students have completed their assessment. So I click on that assessment. And then I can listen to it by pressing play. Okay. And as I'm listening to it, I can score it by clicking on the word when a student makes a specific error. And I can record whether it's an omission, insertion, mispronunciation, substitution, repetition, or self-correction. Right. And once you're done listening to the entire running record, you can also send a message to your students. Right. And you can also make notes. So that way you can go back and see what you should recommend the student work on. The notes to self, again, it's, it's only for teachers. They won't see that. But to the student, that will come up in their message box. Right? Once you're done the running record, you can then go to part two of the retelling. Here, the student has recorded their retell of the story. You can listen to it. Right? And you can also score it based on the scoring guide right here. Right? And finally, there's part three, which is the quiz, which asks some simple comprehension questions. And those will be already marked for you. When you're done, you can hit finished. And that will now be moved into your reviewed assessments. And that's it.